Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Angelina Jordan, Summertime. Let's see what she has to say. Is that an oboe? Is that an oboe? Fun fact, I was in the, I guess it's considered concert band in the sixth grade and half of seventh grade. And I played the trombone, y'all. It was like the last instrument on the list for me to pick. I did not want to play it. I hated it. It was a tortured time in my life that I don't like to discuss. Um, but I always wanted to play like the flute or the clarinet. I think this is an oboe, which was always so intriguing to me. Like, what an, a wild instrument. Anyway, I'm rambling and going so far off topic because I want to say I am just always, I will always be impressed at the fact that um, Angelina Jordan performs very often with these live concert bands or orchestras. Um, it is not easy, and I've said this before, to, to perform with live music. Live music is the best when you are in a con at a concert or anywhere around live music. I don't care who you are. I know it makes you feel something. I know it. You cannot tell me that it doesn't. It makes you feel something. And so I love that she's always performing with live music because it speaks to how, how smart she is and she knows how um, meaningful and impactful it can be to a song. It can elevate a song. And it also speaks to her um, professionalism and her genius and her um, just overall greatness that she prefers to or considers and can perform with these orchestras, these live instruments. It's incredible to me. So I just wanted to plug that in before we get started because I'm like already impressed by the scale of this. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see what she's gonna do with this. thumbnail um she looked like older to me and I guess I guess maybe because the the view in the thumbnail is like over her so I saw this big white dress and I just assumed she was a little bit older she seems to be a preteen here maybe between the age of 10 and 12 maybe 13 um but again she is very carefully very thoughtfully singing this song which is such a classic. I don't know who is the original composer, writer, performer of this song. I am familiar with this song. I've heard it a lot like in movies. I grew up dancing. Um, if you didn't know, I was a professional dancer for super many long years. Um, danced from childhood all the way up through forever. Taught dance for many, many years. And so I've taken many like lyrical classes, modern classes in dance this. I'm super familiar with the song. Um, I just don't know the foundation of it but I love how she is taking her time and she's letting the orchestra 
not lead her, actually lead her, but it feels like the orchestra is taking her, right? Like it's like the or orchestra has come underneath her and she's flying with the orchestra. I love how this feels. It feels so good. Um, yeah, there's just nothing better than live music. And the texture of her voice in this one is just what she's doing with her throat box is so Nice. Every instrument known to man is being played. <laughs> mm. Girl. that that dress had a train that was the cutest thing I've ever seen um you guys that was delicate and gentle but still so giant like I don't know how you know it was like a gentle giant uh yeah I love you can the flute player you can tell she understood like the magnitude like she got it she was so into that performance which I think really again speaks to the respect um you should have if you don't um that people have for angelina jordan and her craft um the last thing i want to say is you guys educate me so much in the comments and i really really appreciate it the last video i watched she had a flower crown and i just like commented on that you guys let me know that in norway um where she is native to they celebrate the seasons like the warmer summer spring seasons with these flower crowns um and so I think that's such a sweet touch. Every time you guys educate me, whether it be on her barefoot singing, why she sings, you know, barefoot or the flower crowns, it just adds to the experience of watching her perform and it gives me more insight, which I love. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Miss Angelina Jordan, for another stunning, flawless performance. This one was so delicate, so light, so gentle, but still so meaningful. And I really enjoyed it. All right. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.